Let us pray. Dear everlasting Father, we want to thank you for this worship service. We commit ourselves into your hands even as we open our hearts. Worship you in spirit and truth. We know you are spirit and those who worship you must worship in spirit and truth. Lord God, guide us from the beginning to the end of this worship service. And may we receive grace and blessings even in fulfillment to your word. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us worship the Lord with one song. I have found sweet rest. I have found sweet rest for my weary soul. Found the harbor set to the billows roll. Found the mighty one who can storm control. Leaning on the everlasting heart. For the everlasting hands and they hold me, ever hold me, and then fold me. I am saving life from death all around and under me. At the mighty everlasting heart, when the rain grows dark and no light I see, when my friends forsake and life comfort free. They may know his grace will sufficient be. Living on the everlasting heart, or the everlasting arms, and they hold me, ever hold me, and then hold me. I am saving life or death for a run that can be near. At the mighty everlasting heart, when my faith is weak, it is near my sight. When my heart grows faint, it will strength provide. When the danger spreads and the seas divide. Living on the everlasting hands, or the everlasting hands of the Lord, me, ever hold me, and afford me. I am safe in life or death, or I run and land on me. At the mighty everlasting heart, there is nothing too hard for my Lord to do. I can save the trials on the journey through. It will bear me up and my body soon. Living on the everlasting heart. Oh, the everlasting arms of the hold me, ever hold me, and enfold me. I am saving life or death for a round and land and near. As the mighty everlasting heart. Hallelujah. Today's message as the title, Let it be to you according to your faith. The scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 9. In verse 27 to verse 29, this is what the word says. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, calling out, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he had gone indoors, the blind men came to him, and, asked, and he asked them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Yes, Lord, they replied. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Let it be done to you according to your faith. Even this day, may it be done to you according to your faith. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And may your faith continue to grow. Even as you continue to hear God's living word. Hallelujah. Amen. And our faith has to be centered on God's living word. This blind man knew who Jesus is. That's why they call him son of David. Have mercy on us. What does it mean? They knew Jesus will come through the family, family line of David. The Messiah would be born through the family line of David. So they knew that Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. In other words, they knew that Jesus is the solution 
to all problems. Hallelujah. At the foundation of our faith has to be the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our hearts has to be filled with the word of God. Because the foundation of, the, of our faith has to be the word of God. Then our hearts have to be filled with the living word of God. Because Romans 10 chapter 7, Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, Faith comes by hearing the word. Hearing the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the two blind men had true faith. Faith that was rooted in the word of God. Faith that had foundation in the living word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And they received answers according to their faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Our faith that is only Christ, all the kingdom of God, and only the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith that acknowledges that. The solution to the Genesis 3 problem, the problem we read in Genesis chapter 3, Genesis chapter 6, and Genesis chapter 11, can only be solved by the answer that the Lord provided. In Genesis, in the book of Acts, chapter 1, chapter 1, verse 1, chapter 1, verse 3, and chapter 1, verse 8. Hallelujah. Amen. The problem of Genesis, chapter 3, is a problem where we see man who was once with God, God separate from God, he became a sinner and fell in the hands of the devil. Man became self-centered. To solve that self-centered problem, the only solution is Christ, as we read in Acts chapter 1, verse 1, that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. He is the only way to be God, he is the only way to wash away people's sins, and he is the only way to destroy Satan and Satan's work. Hallelujah. Amen. When the people became separate from God, they fell in sin, and under the control of the devil, the prince of the air. They became material center, as we can read Genesis chapter 6. They became material center. They just became flesh. Instead of being centered on things pertaining the kingdom of God, they became worldly, centered on things of this world. God wants us to live Send that on the kingdom of God. As we have read Acts chapter 1, verse 3. Jesus talked about the kingdom of God for a period of 40 days. And even today, he expects us to live for the sake of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our people who became self-centered, material-centered, again, they fell into success-centered ideology. They thought they can be, they can be successful. They can have development. They can have civilization without God. As we read in Genesis chapter 11. Genesis chapter 11. In the Tower of Babel. They say, let us build the tower that reaches all the way to heaven. And let us make a name for ourselves. Now the problem of being centered on success can only be solved. By the power of God. Amen. That's why Acts 1 8 says, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon us. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the ends of the earth. Amen. People who live centered on themselves, on their own success, will sooner or later crumble like a tower of Babel. But when we live centered on Christ, God's kingdom, and trusting the feeling, working in the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we will have evidence. We will receive evidences every day. And we will be true witnesses of the Lord to the ends of the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All answers are in the word of God. Because all answers are in the word of God, we need to develop a habit, a lifestyle of meditating upon the word of the Lord. Psalm chapter 1 verse 2 says, Blessed is the man who meditates upon the word of God day and night. 
Such a man will be like a tree planted by the streams of waters. We read Psalm chapter 1, verse 3. He will be like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season. His leaf does not wither, whatever he does prospers. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The way live our lives centered on the living word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And what God says is always the final command. Not the condition of your body. Not the condition of the environment around you. What God says in his word is final command. Let us believe it. Let our faith be rooted be established on the word of the Lord. And it will be to you according to your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Once you receive what God has said, you become capable of subduing every other contrary opinion. There are contrary opinions all around us. Things that speak against the living word of God. But receive what the Lord is saying. Believe in it and let it be to you according to the word of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In Luke chapter 1 verse 7, read of Elizabeth who was very old. But what God said prevailed over age barriers. Hallelujah. Amen. Even upon your situation. What God says is superior. And it prevails over other voices, the circumstances surrounding you. Hallelujah. Amen. Let it be to you according to your faith. Third point, I want to talk about meditating upon the word of the Lord. At, uh, the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. It says, the book of the Lord should not meditate. It should not depart from your mouth, but meditate upon it day and night. To see that you do what is written in it. In so doing, you will be prosperous and successful. Hallelujah. Amen. Meditating upon the word of the Lord day and night. We should not read the word of God uh, for the sake of reading. There are people who read it hurriedly. I see it in a competition. We should not do it that way. We should give the word of God enough mental attention. This is what I call meditating upon the word of the Lord. Give it the mental attention that it deserves. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because faith occurs in the heart. As we read Romans chapter 10 verse 10. And because faith occurs in the heart. It cannot get there without meditation, without getting, giving it the right mental attention. It is meditation that takes the word from the surface to the inside. You know, when you read it the first time, you receive it from information, at information level. Now, when you give it more mental attention, when you meditate upon it, it comes from the surface to the inside. And I will, when we believe in our hearts, then we can receive according to our faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us live centered on the word of God. Let us confess our faith that is according to the word of God. According to what the Lord has said. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And let us receive according to our faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Mark chapter 9 verse 23 says. All things are possible for him that believes. How are we going to believe? How are we going to nurture faith in our lives? Let us see what God says it is what let us meditate upon it and we will receive according to our faith just the way this blind man they believe that jesus is the messiah 
son of David. And they cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. May the Lord have mercy on you and meet you upon, upon, at the point of your need according to your faith. Let us pray. The everlasting Father, I want to thank you. I want to thank you because you've given us the mystery to receive unique answers, memorable answers, even irresistible answers. And you told us that it will be to us according to our faith. Lord, we continue to meditate upon your living word. Lord, just as these two blind men received according to their faith, may each and every one of us receive according to our faith. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.